Now here, Sir Edmund pays him handsomely for his spiritual guidance. Uh, let's see what else. Scissors. There's a bell. Let me get rid of that. There's a banana. Now I just need a banana peel. All right here. It appears that some sort of animal has been kept in here. What would a medium want with a caged creature? <laughs> oh, I thought those were like eyes. There's another bell. Still need scissors. Oh, there's the other bell. Miss Agatha Raleigh always brings a bell to these things. She claims it attracts the spirits. So it's pretty hot. Oh, I need rope. No, that's not rope, apparently. Nope. A hook. Got it. Rope, 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 rope. Um, oh, right here. Underneath. Okay. I'm still at a little bit of a loss of where the scissors might be. I keep looking for them, and I keep finding something else. Oh, there they are. It'd be helpful to examine the contents of this trash more carefully. Apparently, someone was trying to destroy this tarot deck. Great. Place the pieces of the tarot cards in the holder in the middle to match the three pieces of each card. Complete cards will be moved to the right side of the screen. So, let's go with the devil first. There's the devil. Um, and then... No, there we go. And then where's the bottom? The mangled man? No. Strength? No. The magician. There we go. Let's go. The knight. Right here. That was easy. This is like the king. Oh, the emperor. Gotcha. Right here. Ooh, the empress. Where's the top? No, that's not it. It's this one right here. This is the hermit. The mangled man. And then death. No. Oh, death is... This is gonna be strength. There's the part of the death. The death card that... The apparition left as a warning to you. May I see it? Just as I suspected. This remaining piece matches perfectly. Sweet. Got everything. That was quick. It took me like three minutes. Wow, this is going to be a quick one. I think. Straight hair, necklace, cape, male, female. Males are going to go down here, so females... She's got a handkerchief. He's got a handkerchief. But I believe... Cape. You don't have a cape. This guy does. Magnificent! There we go. Sweet. That was quick. Now that we've correctly arranged the subject sex... Okay. She's got the bell, newspaper, handbag, American journalist, show poster, wilted rose, evil eye. Okay, I think I got this. Um, playbill. Yes. Definitely not. That was in another one. Bell, scissors, no. Nice work. Uh, envelope, painted spider. Definitely not. Black Rose. The key for the landlord? No, it's going to be the pyramid. That's it. Cards. It. That's new. Definitely not going to do that one. The hat. That's it. Def definitely new. The key. No, it's going to be the paintbrush. So it's either the magician or the landlord. I'm thinking it's the yes. landlord. That's it. Dang it. I'm so always wrong. I'm not a good detective. Good thing I'm playing the game. That would suck if I was a detective. I had a really good score, though. The so-called demon 
was in fact an assistant to the great Carswell. I suspected an experienced stage magician when I saw the cunning compound of phosphorus that left glowing stains. And that foul-smelling smoke is a common magician's trick to confound the viewer and obscure the trickery. After his friend Mr. Mayles told Carswell about the expose Miss Jackson was writing, Carswell disguised his trained pet monkey as the glowing devilish horror. Oh. He then sent it to a room to steal her manuscript and frighten her off the story. My article would reveal the tricks used by so-called mediums like Mr. Carswell, whose bank account has fattened considerably thanks to the likes of Lady Alice Porter and her millionaire husband. I saw Carswell's last stage show. In a desperate attempt to save his legitimate career, he had added a macaque to his act. Truly, it was hard to discern who was the master on stage the magician or the monkey. But the monkey came through my fourth floor window. How did he ascend to such a height? He didn't. Carswell merely lowered the beast down on a rope attached to the hook above Mr. Mayle's window. The odorous smoke helped hide its climb back up to the room above yours. Mm. One more thing before we leave you, Miss Jackson. Here is your manuscript, complete and undamaged. I found it in Mr. Mayle's room. I suggest you deliver it to your newspaper at the earliest opportunity. Congratulations! Thank you. That was really close. I mean, really easy. 